I know drivers that apply to over 75 jobs. They put their name in the air. They get calls every day, every day, nonstop from companies saying, hey, are you looking for a job? Hey, we see that you're looking for a job. Hey, we have this, that, and the third. Let me just stop you right there in your track. So how does controversial company Super Eagle stay relevant for so long? Inquiring minds want to know. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So listen, controversial company Super Eagle and companies like this in the Chicagoland area, they know where to go to get potential drivers. They know how to entice potential drivers. You see, everybody sends me stuff about controversial company super eagle every day this one particular post from a facebook group and i'm i'm in plenty of them and these are the same facebook groups that these companies frequent these particular facebook groups are groups of drivers that's looking for companies to help them out in any particular situation some of these drivers are in sap programs some of these drivers have messed up backgrounds and controversial company super eagle and companies like them frequent those particular groups because they know those particular drivers are are in situations that they can't get put on with other companies even though companies out here says that they need drivers you got media saying that there's a driver shortage well, here are drivers that made one or two mistakes in their CDL career, and they just need a little helping hand. They, they've seen their mistakes. They're paying for their mistakes. Now they just need a company to help them get back on the road. Well, so many companies out here that claims that they need drivers, they treat drivers like family, they do this, they do that. These are the same companies that says, oh, no, we can't help you because you got something on your debt report. Oh, no, we can't help you because your PSP report is messed up. Oh, no, we can't help you because you're in a SAP program and you need to be out of the program for, say, like four or five years. Oh, no, we don't need you. Then we don't need you. What? It's the same thing that these new drivers are going through. The same new drivers that everybody get influenced in coming into the trucking industry. Hey, potential truck driver, look at me making 100K a year. Look at me, truck driving changed my life. Look at me. Or you can get hipped up with an influencer that says, come to my school or come to come to this school and, and, and get your CDL in three to four weeks and it will change your life. Come and get your CDL. Come, come, come one, come all. Come on, come all to the exciting. But they're not telling you the realities. They're not telling you the truths that you may not be able to get that first job. Oh man, I got my CDL, I'm fresh out of school, I'm ready to work, I'm ready to make my first 100K. Well, sorry to tell you, driver, uh, we're looking for drivers that got four to six months of experience already. Sorry. Hashtag sorry not sorry. You called up the nets. Hey, I'm fresh out of school. I'm ready to get out here and hit the road with the rest of my trucking buddies. I'm ready to make this money. I'm ready to make this life changing experience. Sorry, driver. You need uh, four to six months of experience before we can even think about bringing you on. And then after you get your four to six months experience, we can probably bring you in, but there's no guarantee. So give us a call back then. But wait a minute, I, I thought you guys said that y'all was in the driver shortage. I thought y'all need drivers. I thought y'all need drivers bad. That's why y'all coming in these Facebook groups. That's why you guys making all these ads. You got one ad from one company saying that you can make 70 cents per mile. And that's from bar none. 
But from what I understand, well, bar none, bar none has one of the strictest onboarding that you can possibly imagine. You damn near can't have nothing on your background. Whether you drove a four-wheeler or 18-wheeler, you can't have nothing. You damn near have to be spotless. What about the people that's coming in thinking that, hey, I just stopped smoking. Smoke weed every day. I, and I got clean. I went to the school and then I got pop negative. Then what? Then what? You, you already blacklisted. And here comes good old controversial company, Super Ego, and the rest of the companies like them to swoop up in here and to say, hey, driver, join us. Join us. And you'll soon realize the benefits are just the beginning. We could give you five top reasons to come to us, controversial company, Super Ego. The first one is a modern fleet. Now, the ad says modern and free. They got some nice looking trucks on their ads. They make their ads pretty. They make their ads. Mm -hmm. They make their ads to show just the good part of what the company is. First up, modern and free. Okay, cool. New freight liners, new Peterbilts, new Max. Get them in all for no money down. Now, think about that. No money down. You honestly think that you're going to get one of them nice 2024s or 2025s with no money down? You honestly think you're going to get that? But that's what they make you think, though. Next up, 24-7 support. Cool. You need help? You get broke down? You need assistance? 24-7. But see, what they don't tell you is that their support team is not here in America. Their support team is across the water in a different time zone, in a different area, in a different continent. 24-7 support, meaning you have to call some what uh, what app number or, or a sky number. Or you can call the American number, leave a message, and then one of their American counterparts could get in contact with the, the Siberian counterparts to get you the information that you need so that you can keep moving. Next up, high paid loads. Yes, yes, driver, come to us and we'll make sure that you make the money that you deserve, regardless of what your background is. You're a new driver, you only need to be four months in to come with us and we'll make sure that we'll get you the money that you deserve and the money that you are worth. We will make sure that the loads that we get will be high paying loads across the board. But see, what they don't tell you is that 20, that that 75, 25% now, 75% of the loads go to you. Well, from what I hear from other drivers that have given controversial company Super Eagle and companies like that, the benefit of the doubt, come to find out that yeah, they skim off the top, but you gotta understand something. Let me tell you this. They, they're they not skimming off the top. They're giving you the amount that they want to give you, not the amount of what the company gets. So they broker a load for like $3,000 and they will offer you out of that 3,000, they'll offer you two. And they can just easily tell you is what we're offer not what we get there's a difference there's a difference in the speak you got to listen to the wordplay what we get is different from what we offer what we get is three thousand dollars what we're offering you is two and then we could probably get you a raycon off the two not off the three that we get that's our money that that money should not have nothing to do with you but then i understand the drivers getting their feelings which which is, a, is valid because they still taking 25 percent off the top of the two that they're offering you so now they offering you two subtract the 25 they'll give you 75 percent of the two because they taking the 25 and then out of that money that you get is the money that you're going to get and that's the money that you're going to have to save until the end of the week and then that's the money that you're going to have to get your expenses out of because don't forget you still got to pay for the truck we're gonna find that person yeah when we do find them once we get them back i'm gonna give them right back to them really say congratulations 
you played yourself. You still got to pay for the expenses. On top of that, you got to pay for the fuel. So how much is that left for the driver, though? So when they say high paying loads, yeah, yeah. But it's their version of high paying loads. A high paying load to them could be like $500. That's a high paying load. A high paying load to them could be a thousand. That's a high paying load. They they say high paying loads without telling you what the pay of the loads really are. Next up, flexible home time. Come on, Joe. I'm just gonna cut right through the cloth. You really think you're gonna get some flexible home time? What you thinking? Okay. In the lease purchase program with controversial companies, Super Eagle and companies like them, you really think you're gonna get some reasonable home time with with all the expenses and the truck payments and and fighting for fighting for a good amount every week you really think you're going to get some home time you really think a lease purchase agreement is going to get you the home time that you actually want some of you guys want to be home for a week some of you guys want to be home for two weeks y'all want to go home at the end of that week or at the end of that two weeks but don't forget the, the 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 cost of the truck don't stop so the longer you stay off the more the, the more you're going to have to work in order to continue your truck some drivers stay off for as long as like three days and if you miss that three days and you come back that's three days to track seven that's four days that you got to make up think about that you honestly think you're going to get home time with the setup that they got at controversial company super eagle and companies like them and last but not least they will offer you weekly pay you'll get weekly pay you get paid every week you get paid whatever you can get out of them every week even if you don't get paid at all but you will get paid every week you'll get a settlement every week that tells you the breakdown of what you of what your pay may or may not be one week you might get five hundred dollars the next week you might owe them a thousand so you're going to get paid and then there are some cases where you would get paid and let's just say the 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 relationship kind of sours oh don't don't forget they still got the ability to go into your check and reverse the pay we paid you fifteen hundred dollars you giving us some back lip you over here trying to take our truck you over here saying you're not going to do this you're not going to run the lows bro we taking our money back and it has been done to some drivers it has it has been done to some drivers so those are the five reasons to come and join controversial company super eagles and companies like them out of illinois but drivers still have it hard though they have it hard they they they, they have it hard right drivers have it hard they get discouraged but when they see ads like that they get they they get confidence that they know that their companies like controversial company super eagle and companies like them that would offer this opportunity for a troubled driver. I know drivers that apply to over 75 jobs. They put their name in the air. They get calls every day, every day, nonstop from companies saying, hey, are you looking for a job? Hey, we see that you're looking for a job. Hey, we have this, that, and the third. Let me just stop you right there in your tracks. Let me stop you right there. Here's what's my background gonna look like here's what you're going to see when you pull it when you see all of that then am i still able to be qualified to come on with your company oh well since you put it that way no nah, because your that report says this or your he piece says that but we still gotta pull it maybe we could no ain't no maybe if ands no no because see what you're doing right now is getting me all hyped up for a company that I won't be able to be approved for because you see my report afterwards. Now, let me stop the show. DAC report sucks. I'm here to say it. DAC report sucks because what a DAC report is, I think a DAC report is a fake report, even though I still agree that you need to pull it and you need to know what's on it because some of these crazy ass companies use that as the Bible oh well i see you this that and the third with this company no we can't bring you on but knowing that you was with that said company for five six years ago but they still using that as a reason to not bring you on the 
Yeah, but th that was my problem. You want to hear my side of the story? No, no, because what we're taking is truth from the Bible of the DAC report. So you just got to be careful of anything that's on your DAC report and that when you put it on there and try to debate it, it's going to take a minute because if you try to call said company that that put that stuff on your DAC report years ago, even though they, they probably might have a change in the guards, they still going to be like, oh, well, that didn't happen on our watch, so we can't do nothing about that. Sorry, not sorry. So still pull your DAC report, see what's on there so that you can have ammunition when you talk to these so-called recruiters that claims that they need drivers every day and see if you can get with a company because some companies will overlook the DAC report because they know that if you work for a Chicago land company or Illinois company, those type of companies like to be petty and they like to throw curveballs and try to blacklist you because whatever the situation happened between you and them, they, they want to mess you up from you making money in the future. So still pull it, still know what's on it, and maybe you'll have a fighting chance. Sap drivers, listen, as soon as you say if a company takes sap drivers, they already shut in the door. Oh, yeah, we take sap drivers, but you got to be five years out of the program. Oh, yeah, we take sap drivers, but you got to be two years out of the program. You're looking for a company to help you with your return to duty status, and it's not that many companies out there. That's why companies like controversial company Super Eagle and companies like them swoop in because they know you need their help and they can take advantage of you. I know you call big companies. I know you call small companies. You call mom and pop companies. You call local companies and you still get nothing. Try to reach out to the recruiters, but they all recommend controversial company Super Eagle and companies like them or CFI or Sweet Express or Western Express. Yeah, those those recruiters will help you out. Oh, well, we can't help you, but we know these companies will. But see, what they don't tell you either is the same thing I'm telling you now. Those companies that do want to help you, oh, you want to help? Then you're going to have to accept what we offer to you. Companies, when you work for them and you take the drug test and that you might not be able to pass, I would suggest wholeheartedly that you not even go or set up the for the testing. Because if you go there and leave, it's a refusal. If you go there and take it and it comes back negative, it's a refusal. If you go for any reason and they put on there that you can't that you can't get your bladder filled up enough to fill up the cup it's a refusal everything that happens to do with the drug test if you don't take it if you don't fill the cup if you don't pass it's all a refusal and it's all going to send you to the sap program regardless the only thing that i think that should send you to the sap program is the fact that if you pop negative or positive positive negative i don't know whichever one that that will send you to the program that should be it for some reason that if you decide not to go that shouldn't send you you decide not to go you didn't take the offer with the company that shouldn't that shouldn't affect you being put into the sap program that shouldn't oh you couldn't you you didn't drink enough water you didn't drink enough fluids before you came there and now you have to sit for hours on end just to, just to build up your bladder and you still can't get the two cup requirement that they need for the test that shouldn't send you to the sap program either that shouldn't send you that should not send you to the sap program at all only thing that should send you to the sap program if you smoke weed every day that's it that's it that's it if you pop dirty for any type of drugs weed heroin crack cocaine ecstasy ice whatever cocaine is a hell of a drug <laughs> if any of those drugs pop you then that will should send you to the sap program not because you didn't feel like taking it not because you can't give the requirement an amount but that and before i get up out of here there is 10 reasons not to go to controversial companies super eagle and companies like them first one is rate cons 
to the drivers. There is none. Or if they do offer a Raycon, it will, it will be modified. It will be modified. It won't be the actual Raycon. At least that's what some drivers say. I don't know. I'm just going by secondhand from what I hear. Number two is no fuel discounts. None at all. The, the, the price you pay at the pump is the price you pay. And that's the money you're going to have to pay back at the end of the settlement. So be careful of the fuel that you get from these from these truck stops from the fuel stations try to find a mom and pop that gives you the best fuel price for your buck going to places like petro flying j loves where the prices is anywhere between 450 and five dollars you don't want to mess with that you don't want to mess with that because fuel expense is probably the biggest expense when it comes to lease purchase program the biggest expense that you're going to be spending out every week is the fuel. Now, if oh. you know how to do the fuel, then that's great. If you have your own personal fuel discounts with, with the major trucking companies or companies like Mud Flap or, or fuel discount cards, by all means, take advantage of them. Next up is Force Dispatch. Blackout. Force Dispatch? Hold on. Force Dispatch in leasing? But wait. I thought if you're leasing, you're able to choose your own loads, which you probably can. You can go on controversial company, Super Eagles load board. They do have one, but you still got to get approved for that load. Let's say you found the load on a DAC board and you went to the controversial company, Super Eagle load board. You see the exact same load, paying the exact same amount. You send it, you have to send it in to your DM and he has to approve it. But suppose your DM is shady, shysty, and he has his own set of people that he fucks with and not you. That's a good ass load. That's a three thousand. That's a three thousand thirty five hundred dollar load. That's that load is is two, three dollars a mile load. Oh, my guy sitting in Florida. I think I could give this to him. Hey, uh, driver. Hey, I, I got it. But sorry, man, I, I, I couldn't book it. Yeah, but. And then you get a phone call from your buddy that's been sitting in Florida. Hey, bud. Hey, man. I'm about to get moving. Oh, yeah. Wait, where you heading to? Hey, I'm about to head up to bumfuck somewhere on the $3,500 load that I just got. My, my, my broker, my man, my ace, my guy, the guy that I love. He, he hooked me up, man. Wait, exactly where you going? Oh, I'm going up to bumfuck Minnesota, bumfuck whatever. And the load picks up today or tomorrow and it, it's like three dollars a mile he got wait wait a minute i just sent in that load i found that load i seen that load i did the work i did the research i gave him that load so i can get it he told me that it wasn't available oh sucks to be you right now next up is no maintenance it's all driver's responsibilities. They're gonna cover for the first month. They're gonna make sure that your tires is good. They're gonna make sure that the truck is running. They're gonna put a Band-Aid on every little issue that, that, that they can to get the truck moving off the yard. Just like with a used car, as soon as it hits the streets, that's your problem. Truck breaks down right when you pull out of the yard. Oh, sorry, that's your truck now. So yeah, be careful of that. Next up, hard to comprehend dispatchers. They're all foreigners. They are. And they all call you from uh, sky phones, WhatsApps. It's 2 o'clock p.m. over here, but it's like middle of the night or bum fuck in the morning over there. And the language barrier? Don't let me get into the language barrier. Next up, they call you 24-7. You're on a load. They're going to call you. You're, how, how much longer is it going to be? How much longer is it going to be? They're going to micromanage you to the teeth. Bro, I'm a lease driver. I'm trying to be an owner operator. Why are you micromanaging me? What the fuck, man? Next up, they, they say there's no success stories when it comes to controversial companies, Super Eagle and companies like them. There's, there's a few coffee drinkers of those companies that will sit and say, I do this, that, and the third with the company, and the company do this, that, and the third for me. Listen to what they have to say. Listen to how long they've been there. See if it works. Because their experience is not going to be your experience. Maybe the same person that's saying that this company is the best company to work for 
probably might not be driving trucks. And sometimes you got to put that in consideration. Maybe that person that's saying that this company is the best, yada, 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 probably might not be doing all of that. And you got to put everything that they say in consideration, as well as taking everything that they say with a grain of salt. Well, how long you been there? I only been there for four months. Well, do you think four months is enough time to acclimate your experience with controversial companies, Super Ego and companies like them? Four months. Have you experienced the ups, the downs, the turnarounds? Now, I know some of you guys only been there for less than four months. Hell, some of you guys only went out there for a week and came back and, and think that you guys got it all planned out. Some people in the comment section said that you guys just do that just to go over and get YouTube content and to come over to the confines of the Lockout Man podcast and share your stories. I don't mind. I'm just a messenger. I, I want to hear it. If you only came there for a week, did what you did and come back. Basically, if you only been there for a week or less four months or whatever your story is going to go coincide with the stories that people already heard unless there's something catastrophically different but basically we already heard what the what the company is like if you only been there we already know what's going to happen in orientation because plenty of people talked about it we already know what was was who's in the yard and the security guards not a security guard we already know that there's drivers that's coming in returning their trucks and 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 telling other drivers to watch out for this company we already know that so your story is going to coincide with the stories that we already heard unless it's something different that you can bring to the table and i don't mind if it's something interesting that you bring to the table and i think that the community is interested in it i'll share it i'll do that next up is again like i said home time i don't even need to reiterate that you already heard it rewind it just hear what i have to say about home time next up they 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 skim for the rates you already heard about that rewind it i'll talk about that next up they charge you for fees i i just did a profile on dirty trucking go and and subscribe to dirty trucking but in that video she says that they they burn you for the fees they charge you every week you just know that x amount of dollars if not more is going to come out your settlement every week every week there's going to be something so just know that and last and and last everybody knows that if you're going to get the good money let's just let's just say what it is let's not sugarcoat it in order to get the good money you're going to have to run illegal you're going to have to you're going to have to in order to get the good money in order to get the good five six seven thousand dollar seven thousand dollar settlements you're gonna you you you're gonna know that companies are going to all make the, your law book to make it happen there's no way that you can that that you're coming home with that kind of money being the least purchased driver with controversial company super eagle and companies like them there's no way possible at least in my opinion allegedly they're gonna have to reset your driver laws in order to make it happen but knowing if you accept that because it's up to you driver to accept that and they're gonna they're gonna sweeten the pot for you to it's to not to accept it hey in order to get this good six thousand dollar settlement at the end of the week you you're gonna have to at least let me reset your your laws for you just know when they do that they will create an unsafe environment for you don't forget about that story of the driver about a year ago or maybe two years ago where the company resetted his laws. He got into that terrible accident, which unalived a few people. And the company, when reached out to him, threw him up under the bus. I'm sorry, we, we didn't know about him resetting the laws. We didn't know about that. We, we didn't give him confirmation. Yeah, but can you send, uh, no, no. We can't send you nothing all all we just know that it was the driver 
he's responsible for his laws books and that's what these companies make it they make you responsible for the law books but but put all the pressure and the stresses of getting this load done and making this kind of money at the end of the week just think about that just think about that so five reasons to go with companies like controversial company super eagle and 10 reasons to think about it before you make your decision.